Hey, it's Collector Dude. I'm back with another video, and this is going to be a haul. This will be haul number 18, I think, of 2022. So I'm trying to get as many books as I can. Like, I go each and every half-price books and pick up what I can. And a few times I've gone, asked them to see stuff behind the counter, and they have stuff that's not priced yet. And they'll price it for me on the spot, which I get, which I got a few cool books. And I got a surprise gift from Janet for an early Christmas or Christmas gift. So I'll show that last. So here we go with Halloween Comic Fest. Great parodies. Mickey's Inferno. Oh, cool. It's a little free comic book, a little smaller and everything. So a little story. And so I thought that was cool. I'm like, I wanted to grab that because it was different. Then I love Alex Ross, so I grabbed this. Beware of the Vision. This is all new, all different Avengers number six. Love the cover. Like like a homage to all the different other colors, like the covers of Vision on it and everything, like his first appearance. And then the one where uh, John Byrne did it, where he's all white and everything. And they did it on the uh, that special on the... What's that? Is that Netflix... Is it Netflix with the Scarlet Witch and Vision? They did the story and everything where he turned all white, and now everybody's getting the book that's all white and everything. So it's pretty cool. Here, now I got this one. I thought this was cool. Batgirl. Uh, I'm not sure what issue this is, but I like the cover, so I grabbed it. It's like after Prince, everything on a motorcycle, and Batman up in the doorway there. And then I see they got a, a Harley Quinn. I think it's a Harley Quinn book with um, Batman on his motorcycle and Harley Quinn up in the uh, doorway. So it, they keep redoing the covers. It's cool though. Here's uh, Batman number DC Universe Rebirth, Batman number 24. I think it's the one he asked her to marry him. Then we got uh, Adam Hughes' book, Betty and Veronica. I thought this was cool. I think I found number one, and this is number two. I got it. Adam Hughes' artwork in there. Then I got Cloak and Dagger, one through three of Spider Island. I never read this, so I wanted to pick it up. There's one, two, and three that then this was cool uh, J. Scott Campbell's Danger Girl sketchbook that was cool it's a little thick I grabbed that one at half price books then I got Daredevil Road Warrior number 0 0.1 usually if I see them I try to get the number one issues this is cool this is deceased dead planet number one it's like after uh, Blade Runner so yeah this is cool I like that cover Plus, I like the, the sea story book storyline and everything. And this is Destroyer Duck. I got number three and number four. Wild artwork from Jack. Oh, that was that was three, yeah, three. And here's four. Then I got Doctor Afra number two. I remember reading this when it first came out, and I kind of liked it because um it had her working for Darth Vader, and Darth Vader was doing some underhanded stuff with, he wasn't telling the Emperor and everything, and so I thought that was a cool story, so, and I grabbed these I've been trying to grab all of these, because these are cool it's like just a whole set of them if I can, Doom Patrol number 18 Justice League of America number 53 Justice Society of America number 47 and Action Comics number 897 they're all white covers, I like these with the symbol in the background, that is cool this is Justice League one. Then you got the Justice Society. You get Action Comics with Lex Luthor on the cover. So I think those are cool. I've been trying to get all of those with that white uh, cover and the logo on the background. They're beautiful. Then Fallen Sun, Death, The Death of Captain America. Avengers. This is with Ed McGinnis artwork in it, so I wanted to grab that. And then this was a new one I got from Comic Town. Uh, Gargoyles. There's a special cover. I thought that was cool, so I grabbed that one. And I got some older ones, too, I found at um, the storage unit today. I went in there just to grab a few boxes of books and bring them home to the house and everything so we can go through them and stuff. But um, they did a few series of that, but I, I loved Gargoyles when it came out. I used to watch it all the time. Ghost Handbook. This is cool. Then you got Ryan Benjamin artwork. Uh, Blood and Roses. This is Ghost number 11. They had a whole bunch of ghost stuff, but I grabbed the stuff that looked really cool. And then this was like a story here, it looks like. This is 12, 13, 14, and 15 of Ghost. This is part one, two, three, and four, Red Shadows. So I like Ryan Benjamin artwork. That's one, which is uh, 12. Here's issue 13, part two, issue 14, and 15. So I grabbed them because they're sets. I like to try to get them all in, in order like that. And I think this is another set, too. I got one through four of Ghost Jade Cathedral with Rice, Ivan Rice artwork. 
This is number 33. Here's number 34. 35. And 36. Really nice artwork. So I wanted to grab that. It was a set. And this was cool because it was a photo cover of Ghost. This is um, issue number two. It's a Ghost special. 48 pages, issue number two. And this looked cool as soon as I grabbed it. I looked, I said, this is a beautiful cover. This is Ghost Shifter. This is part one of four. This is Ghost number seven. Really cool cover. And then as soon as I saw this, I grabbed it. It was Ghost and Hellboy. One in part one and two. One of one and two of two. So this was cool. Magnola. Everything. This is one and two. Then I got Iron Man, no more. I thought this was a cool cover. I said, I wonder what this is about. I grabbed it because the cover was cool. This is number 516 of Invincible Iron Man. Then I got the whole series of uh, Justice League, Cry for Justice. Not all the artwork is consistent, but the first three or four issues are beautiful, just like the covers. This is number one. Love the artwork on it. And Mauro Cassioli. Very cool. Here's number two. I think they got a trade paperback of this. This is number three. It's seven issues all together. Here's four. You see they're falling over a little bit. Here's uh, five. Number six. And number seven. Very beautiful artwork on the covers. Then I made another stack here. We got, I found some Lady Death stuff. Brian Paluto, Paluto's a Polito's um, Medieval Lady Death. This has uh, this is number one, a premium, and it's got a George Perez cover. Very cool from 2004. I like that. Then here's a J Jim Chung cover. Love his artwork. Uh, the Wild Hunt. This is number one from Cross Gen. It's got a Cross Gen. I guess I don't know if they did a crossover or something like that, but it says Cross Gen on the cover. I love his artwork. And then Marvel Boy, it's like a flip book. It's like a Marvel Boy Genesis edition. It's like uh, sketches and everything in it. This is Marvel Boy, and on the other side is Black Widow. Very cool. I'll show you. But it's like real thin. And I said, let me grab this because it's something different. I always like uh, sketchbooks. I always try to pick them up. Here's Marvel Boy on the one side, and then there's Black Widow on the other side. And it's just really cool. You can see the artwork. Oops. Try and get it open. The artwork and everything on the inside and stuff like that. And those sketches. It'd be a nice, cool, cool book to do a flip through. Through and then um, let's see. I'll put it back in here. And let's go to this one. I've been trying to collect these for a while. The annotated, the annotated versions of Marvels. And I found this one for half off. This is Marvel, Marvel's book one of four. You see, it's really thick. Got the whole story in it in the first part, and it's got the right and the scripting script in it, and some sketches and stuff. It's really cool. I love stuff like this. And I've been trying to get all of these because I love the Alex Ross covers. So this one's um, Marvel's Snapshot Civil War. I love this cover. Very cool. And then Metal Gear Solid Sons of Liberty. This is number issue number ten. The artwork in there is really wild. It's really just rough, just like the cover. But when it's a, usually when it's a um, book for a video game, it's usually going for a little bit of money. I wanted to grab it just to see it anyway because I remember playing Metal Gear Solid on, was it PlayStation 2? <laughs> it's like, well, it was a fun game then. Uh, this is Midnight Suns, <clears throat> number two, variant edition. I thought this was cool. As soon as I saw it was a variant, I said I better grab it because usually... They go for a little bit, and I think that just really cool blade on the front on the front cover. Then I think I have two through four of this issue of this series, Night Nightside. So I found number one and I grabbed it. Number one of it. Like I said, sometimes they'll have the books separated and stuff like that. And I think there was like the whole set there, but I only needed issue number one, so I grabbed that. And this is like um Power Rangers. Like um I forgot the name of the story. I just picked this up today at Pack Rat Comics. When I went in there, I went in there to grab a few boxes. 
I've got like three short boxes. I've been putting everything in short boxes lately because I don't want to carry the long boxes and stuff all the time. Power Rangers Unlimited Countdown to Ruin. But I grabbed the shiny cover. Very cool. I like I like the shiny covers like that, so I just grabbed it. There's artwork inside. So <clears throat> put that over there. Then I got Saga, uh, chapter eight and chapter nine. These are really cool. That's eight and nine. The early issues are going pretty good. Plus, I want to read the story. Then I think I got all of these issues too. I think there's four, three of them, and I can't remember which one I didn't get. So I, but I found this one. This is issue three of Serenity, and it's got Adam Hughes artwork. I think that's Adam Hughes on the front cover, but it's just beautiful artwork. Plus, I like the story of Serenity. And then this one's Sonic the Hedgehog. I love Sonic. This is number 64. That is really cool. That early issue, set that aside. And then Spirit of Vengeance. This has always been a beautiful cover. Just uh, like a, It's like a vignette or something like right in the center of the cover. All white, just like the other covers for DC that I've been, like, been collecting. Another of Lilith's offspring kills for Mommy Dearest. This is Spirits of Vengeance, Gold, Ghost Rider and Blaze, number three. Just like the cover. Very cool. And then I got the first issue of this. And when I found these, I said, let me, let me grab this. Star-Lord. Um, two and three. We got the first issue, so I grabbed two and three. Two. And there's three. And the artwork is like pencil, color pencils and everything on the inside. It's pretty cool. Star Wars, uh, Blood Ties. Boba Fett is dead. This is number two of that. Then I always like Star Wars stuff. Star Wars, Darth Vader, and the Ghost Prison. This is a really cool cover, so I grabbed that one. Then this one's a cool cover. Uh, Superman uh, from the Rebirth uh, series. Uh, what is this? Yeah, number 10. Look at him. Unless Batman got some kryptonite, he better back off. He might have that ring, though. Let's see. Amazing Spider-Man number 4. John Byrne. Here's number 6. I grabbed all of these because I wanted to read them. Here's number seven. I think I had them when they first came out. Like I said, it was years ago though. Here's number twelve. It's a little. This one's a little thicker. It's twelve. And I like this story. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number thirty-two. Straczynski did a really good story with that. Here's number thirty-seven. This is a cool cover. Here's number thirty-eight. And this is number forty. And this was cool. I just picked this one up. I picked some of these up at separate days. This is big time, The Amazing Spider-Man. Collecting The Amazing Spider-Man 648 through 650. Number one. thought that was cool. Then I got these other Spider Islands one. From Sp Spider Island Herc. This is seven and eight. There's seven and eight. Then I love Alex Ross. I got uh, Spider-Man Daredevil 3 of... Oh, it's a three of four, and this one's uh, four of four. I like the covers. It's really cool. There's four of four. These are early artwork. Really nice. Then I got this one because it was number one. Web Spinners, Tales of Spider-Man. This is number one. First spectacular issue. Try to get all the number ones I can see. And here's Teen Titan Special. Number one, a newer book. That's going for pretty, a little bit. It was going for a little bit of time. I forgot who, somebody had a first appearance or something in here, or something was going on. So that's why I grabbed it. Then I got this. This is cool, because I love the story. Thanos, number one. Found this one. That's cool. Love Diodato artwork. Man, he's good. Then these were cool, because it's got Diod, um Ed McGinnis artwork in them, and I never saw him before. When I saw his name on the outside, I said, oh, do I really want to get this? And I said, McGinnis artwork? I said, cool, this has got to be new or early stuff. This is from 1995, I think. Vampirella Strikes is number one. Ed McGinnis did artwork in these. And here's number two. I thought that first was a Mike Diodato. I think that is a Mike Diodato cover. And then they got a, like a, a card in there. So I put, I ch changed it and put it in new bags and boards and everything. All my trusty... Uh, DCW boards and everything. I always, like I said, I always put all my stuff in DCW boards uh, and and try to get boxes too. But a lot of times I'll get what they have at Pack Right and stuff. But the boards and bags are awesome because I can get them online. Everything good price too. What if 
uh, featuring Wolverine. I always get the what if issues because I thought they, I think they're cool. Really cool stories in them. And my last book here is Wonder Woman, uh, Gods of Gotham. And I thought this was cool because it got a beautiful um, Adam Hughes cover on it. It's like a little, I think it's a little trade, little trade paperback's kind of thick, but the cover is beautiful. Let's grab that. And then the last book I'm going to show you is this book. Janet picked this up for me. She got offline on eBay for Christmas. Very cool. It's got a little uh, curve in it like that. We're going to get it pressed and everything. But I'm going to see if I can get me. i got to get a bag and board for it. And I've seen those before because uh, they do it a lot over at Laughing Ogre. They do a lot of um, bag and boards of these size comic books, you know, tabloid size. So I'm going to see if I can get a, uh, a pack of them or some order them or something. Maybe I'll get them from BCW or I'll just drive over and help out uh, Laughing Ogre with some books, with some money. But here, this is cool. I love this. I wanted this when I was a kid. I told Janet about it. And I think I might have said it before. There's like, had to be like 10 or 20 of them or something like that in the stack. And I said, Dad, can I get one of these? I, think, I forgot how old I was. And he was like, no, we can't get that not now. I'm like, ah. Because I just wanted They were 250 Look at that, 250 And it's just, he wouldn't get me one. I'm like, ah. Well, you know, I know what it's like because I remember my kids everywhere I would go. Sometimes they'd be like, can we get that? Can we get that? It was like, okay, we got $5 each. I got to pay the bills. But $5 each, you can go good what you want. Uh, Dad, this is five dollars and five cents. Can we? <laughs> I said five bucks. So I'm trying to teach you something. Four ninety five, four ninety eight, whatever. Maybe a little bit of tax, something like that. But try to get something a little bit less and everything. So here's five bucks, and they would do it. So, but uh, this is very cool. Janet loves me. She takes care of me. She helps me out. And everything like that. Look at this the inside of here. This is so cool. I always like that thing where you can point out and see all the different people that's in the cover that's on the cover and neil adams man beautiful artwork and this, the color is beautiful on this thing it's like when you look in here you can see the art this would be a cool book i see uh 32 pages and then he's still flipping through books and everything hopefully maybe he'll get to this or i'll get to it do a flip through for it and everything but just the beautiful artwork and everything and all the pages were in really good condition let me see, let me see if I can find there's some more art. And there's Ali talking smack and everything like that. But he can, he's got power behind it. All these, this beautiful artwork, man. Um, like I remember I see on this first page, like the second page, splash page is kind of here. It's like, wow. So, but that's that. That's one of my Christmas presents. Everything, so. Um, Got to get her stuff as well. And everything, but uh, one other thing I had. I don't know if I showed this to you before. I think I did. But up on the wall here. That's like a um, picture of um, just the cover too. And everything, I put that up there. Everything, just to have it. Uh, me and Janet bought it. Let me Let me show you real quick. But here it is. It's got the signatures on there. Um, Neil Adams up here. There's Muhammad Ali. And there's Christopher Reeve. And everything. And it's got a certificate of authenticity. And everything. And this is pretty cool here. Showing all the signatures. It's hand signed, limited edition, 1978 art by Christopher, with Christopher Reeve. And it's a Muhammad Ali, the greatest. And artist, Neil Adams. But just really cool. It's got a big frame on it. Everything. It's just, it's just like a print everything but uh it's really cool to have those signatures on there and i got a certificate of authenticity behind it but that's it let me know what you think and all my guys here and hopefully everybody got their their, their guys for uh the prizes that i sent them off i still got to send comic books off to two people uh big tommy and roy uh ron thomas or ron palmer and everything um i gotta send those comic books off and i gotta get one off to um hack haken in uh turkey once I get him, his book and everything, uh, because a few people couldn't get the actual, uh, what do you call them, the Amazon cards because they don't work in other countries. So I just sent them an action figure for the price of what there was a $25 card. So I just sent them an action figure. And I think I'm going to do that with Hacken or send him a book. But um, these are all my, these are all the ones here that I have. And Metarog won, uh, Captain America won, 
and um, I think it was Daryl Beard, he won the Daredevil. So they said they got spots set aside for for them in their uh, comic book rooms. So I think that, that makes me very happy. That's cool. But other than that, that's everything I have. I'm going to um, do some more videos soon. But I'm going to go upstairs and hang out with Janet now. I'm going to upload this and hopefully it will be up there later. But you guys, thank you very much uh, for a great year. And I hope you guys had fun. I did. Uh, you guys have a great night, a great rest of the week. And Collective Dude is out.